Hello everyone and I hope you're all doing really well. So we had a small break from combined arms and now we're getting straight back into it. It's going to be the most exciting day yet. We've got the IFVs. We've got the eight infantry fighting vehicles. So what's the difference between an IFV and an APC? So APC, Armoured Personnel Carrier, IFV, Infantry Fighting Vehicle. So these, like APCs, will carry infantry in their belly and keep them protected with their armour. But they are also then used offensively to fight with the infantry. And so what we're going to see over the APCs is a step up in weaponry. So the machine guns are going to go to cannons and we're going to have grenades, uh, rocket launchers, tow missiles, all awesome stuff like that. So these are really, really destructive vehicles, like almost up to the level of main battle tanks. And we can actually kill some main battle and we can actually kill main battle tanks with some of these IFVs. So in no particular order, we've got the BMD-01, the BMP-1, the BMP-2, the BMP-3, ridiculously powerful vehicles. Uh, we've got the LAV LAV-25, we've got the M2A2 Bradley, we've got the MCV-80, and we've got the Marder. As ever, please forgive my bad knowledge on ground vehicles. I'm just not a ground vehicle guy. I'm just going to do the best I can and show you how to actually use them in the game. So first of all, uh, a little look at their specs. First of all, a BMD-1. And a quick look at it. We've got, it's a track vehicle. Very skinny track, so I'm guessing it's going to be quite lightweight. We'll see in a minute. We've got a, I don't think it really qualifies as a cannon. I think it's, and it's not a mortar. Um, I, I'm not sure what these are actually called, the main the main armament. I don't want to say the wrong thing, so we'll see in a minute. Uh, machine gun in the turret, obviously swivelable turret. And we've got this rail here, which actually contains uh, a missile, maybe the wrong word. Uh, the equivalent of a tow missile uh, in Russian. I, again, I'm not sure what they're called. Um, and we'll try and find out more about that as we go. And I think, I didn't see this here, it looks like we've got a hull. Oh, two hull machine guns, I think, there and there. I wasn't aware they existed. Um, that's interesting and where do the it looks like this one's not actually for carrying troops because I don't see anywhere where troops could get in there so I guess this one is purely to fight alongside the infantry so let's go through the statistics we've got a type airborne infantry combat vehicle not sure what airborne means I'm guessing that means it's light enough that it can be taken by chopper or whatever but Correct me if I'm wrong. Crew, three plus four. So it can carry four passengers. I'm just stupid, obviously, and I can't see where the people get in. Maybe in that hatch there or something. But um, So it can uh, carry people. We've got a coaxial uh, 7.62 PKT machine gun. So that must be in the turret. Forward firing two... Uh, no, sorry, this is in the hull here. Forward firing two single 7.62mm PKT machine gun. So that is uh, these guys here. Uh, we've got the ground clearance 0.1 to 0.45 meters. So I'm not sure what the 0.1 is, and it looks like 0.545 to me. But okay, fair enough. Uh, we've got lo one launch rail for a Saga ATGW, an ATG ATGW. I'm going to struggle to say that today. Anti-tank uh, guided weapon. So it's a missile, what I would call a tow type missile, presumably wire and radio guided. Sorry, let me try that again. Either radio guided or wire guided. We've got the engine is a V6 diesel, 240 horsepower. Ammunition, main. We haven't actually talked about the main weapon yet. I think it's, we're going to go through that in a minute. Uh, 40 rounds for the big thing. Uh, max road speed, really impressive for a track vehicle. 70 clicks per hour, so that's nearly 50 miles per hour. So that's really cool. Coaxial, everything's in a funny order here. Just excuse ED. 2,000 rounds in, doesn't, oh, the coaxial, so that's that one there, I think, uh, which is a lot of rounds. Combat weight, 7.5 tons, extremely light. That's a really impressive vehicle, actually, to be that light. 5.4 metres, somewhat longer than a uh, car, or about as long as a very long car, I suppose you could say. Uh, water max speed, so it's, it can go in water, and 10 kilometres an hour, that's very impressive as well. All round, very impressive. Hull max, 15 millimetres, so that's where... Uh, the weaknesses, obviously, is why it's so light, why it can go so fast in the water and on the ground, because it is so lightly armoured. It's not going to take much to get through that. Um, I'd like to do some armour testing, uh, the thickness the thickness and the resilience of the armour after we've finished these videos to see what vehicles can stand with, you know, what uh, firepower. Uh, fuel distance, 320 clicks, quite low, so it can't carry much fuel. Turret max, I guess that's armour thickness, 23mm. 
Armament uh, 73 mil low pressure smooth bore short recoil semi automatic gun. God, oh, right, I'm trying to digest that. Low pressure, so that must mean it's a low velocity. I'm guessing it's still gunpowder or cordite or equivalent, but unless, let me know if I'm wrong. 73 mils, so it's quite a big bore. Smooth bore, so it's not rifled. If anyone knows why that is, I can't see any reason why you wouldn't want to rifle it, but there's obviously a reason. So, inaccurate, so it's not going to be very accurate, not like a cannon. Short recoil, not sure what short recoil means. I'm guessing just because it's low pressure for low kinetic energy, I'm guessing. Semi-automatic, okay, uh, gun, it's called a gun. So it's kind of somewhere between a gun and a cannon and a grenade launcher and, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't know. Um, talked about the PKT and the 9S428 anti-tank guided missile weapon launcher capable of firing 83A Saga A and 83 B Saga B. Not sure what the difference between those two is. So that was interesting. So on to the BMP-1. I hope anyone knows what BMP stands for. Let me know. I've always just assumed it's something Russian, so irrelevant to me as such. Type infantry combat vehicle, infantry fighting vehicle. Crew is three and it can carry eight guys. We've got a proper hatch in the back now. So it's more traditional, more closer towards the APC, typical APC, I guess. Length, big old thing, nearly seven meters. Ground clearance, 0.39 meters. So it's okay. Uh, engine V6 diesel, 300 horsepower. Max road speed, 65 kilometers per hour. So it's pretty good for a track. You know, we're talking track vehicles here. Some wheeled vehicles can't go that fast. So it's um, pretty good. Uh, water speed, so it's water as well. Seven clicks, it's okay. Combat weight, 13 and a half tons. Sound about right. Operational range, 550 to 600 kilometers. Pretty good. Armament is probably the same 30, 73 mil low pressure smooth bore, short recoil, semi automatic gun slash grenade launcher slash, you know, whatever that falls into. Uh, plus a coaxial uh, PKT 7.62 there. Don't have any hull guns this time. For those hull guns that we had in the previous vehicle, I'm not sure how they would actually aim that. I'm guessing it's just spray and pray. And we've got the same Saga A and Saga B launcher up there. And I'd be interested in knowing how this reloads itself. We don't have an animation in DTS for how it reloads itself. So it's just literally plops, someone plops it on that rail thing there and it shoots and it fires. I'm not sure that that little guy is probably the igniter or something. Uh, but how does it actually re reload in real life? Is there like, does this hatch open? Does an arm, robotic arm come out and plonk it on there? Or does a guy come out and use his little skinny hand to put it on there? I'd be really interested to know how that works. I guess this is engine area here. Uh, driver. Uh, okay, it's got its head out, it's turned out at the moment. You've got turnout hatches here for guys. Uh, really good front there for deflection and for kind of, you know, ground clearance. That's really good. Right, uh, let's have a look at its statistics. Uh, sorry, it's armor. I'll be interested in knowing, but we don't have that information here. So I'm going to make a guess as it's basically twice as heavy as the previous one. It's probably about at least one and a half times as much armor. So kind of 20 to 30 mil I'm guessing, depending on where you go. Let me know if you know more, please. Uh, lights at the front, aerial, nothing else of interest that I can see. I'm guessing the tracks are relatively skinny on these BMPs because they're just not that heavy. They're not, you know, big main battle tanks. Also, I'm guessing this uh, low-velocity gun here isn't much good for anti-armor. I'm guessing it's going to be mainly for in infantry and very light armor because it's not got much kinetic energy, I'm assuming. So, that's interesting. Right, crack on to BMP-2, and we're getting bigger. This is a pretty cool vehicle. So, we've got three crew plus seven people to carry. We've got big hatches at the back there. A couple of turnout spots there. Turnout will driver. Engine here again, by the looks of things. Big hatch here. I'd be interested in knowing what this hatch is here. I can't see what could be useful, but that'd be a different way of escaping. Length, seven metres again, nearly big. Ground clearance, 0.42 metres, which is good. Uh, we've got a V6 diesel with 300 horsepower. Max road speed, good, 65 kilometers an hour. Max water speed, pretty good, 7 kilometers an hour. That's combat weight. We've actually gone down a bit here to 14.3 tons. 550 to 600 clicks, which is good. It's got, ah, yeah, it's not got the uh, kind of uh, low velocity thingy uh, gun. It's got a, a cannon this time, so it's interesting to see how much better performance we can get out of this. 1 times 30 mil, 2 A42 cannon. So it's just a thumping big 30mm high velocity cannon. Can't go wrong with one of them. Possibly even more kind of anti-armor than the um, uh, the smoothbore gun. 7.62 PKT coaxial machine gun in the turret. 85 
anti-tank 5 conquers ATGM. So we've got here almost like a kind of like a little law launcher or something on the top here. Reloadable. It's separate turret to the main turret, so it can swivel independently of the main turret. Um, remotely operated. I'm assuming that it's going to be remotely operated. You've got two turnout points up there otherwise. Uh, so we'll go and see how good that is. Again, nothing about armor, so I'm going to be guessing 20 to 30 mil or something like that again. And we don't know the ammo again, so we're going to have to find that out the hard way. That's that. Now we go to Big Mama. BMP3, whoop. So you're getting more towards a tank looking thing now. Mm, very depressing amount of info here. BMP3, infantry combat vehicle. Max road speed 70 clicks, very good. Kind of nearly 50 miles an hour. Operating range 600 clicks, very good. We've got a 100 mil to a 70 gun capable of firing tube launched anti tank 10 80 GMs. So we've got a Gun, it's called it a gun rather than a cannon, so I'm guessing it's a low velocity, low pressure type of deal again. It says can fire missiles, or presumably some sort of shell or grenade as well. So again, personally I have absolutely no idea. That there I'm guessing is a rangefinder, let me know if that's wrong. I'm interesting what, knowing that what this little rod here is. Is that a, Oh no, that's a 30mm cannon. Oh right, look at us learn. Right, we've got a 30mm high velocity cannon there, and a 100mm probably smoothbore gun that can fire missiles and may be able to fire shells as well. We'll find out the hard way. Don't know ammo, uh, but that's a pretty, you know, that's a pretty highly equipped thing. And those ATGMs can be your anti-main battle tank as well. So and I've seen these things take out battle tanks. So uh, 7.62 PKT in there for the infantry. Oh, we've got um, PKTs down here in the hull as well. Again, don't know how they aim, but maybe it's just that uh, slots here. Two turnouts at the front, turnout for driver. Uh, possible hatch there, I'm not really sure. Good front. Engines back here this time for whatever reason. God, I can't be comfortable sitting next to that. Uh, doors, question mark. Must be doors there, yeah. Turn, plus turnout points. Don't know how many people this holds. I'd guess 9 or 10. I guess it's a lot bigger than the others. Weight, just based on the others. I'm going to guess about 20 to 30 tons. 20 to 25 tons, would you think? Maybe. Skinny tracks again, so I guess that symbolises low weight, so 20-25 tonnes maybe. Let me know what you think. Smoke launchers there. Don't think we use the smoke launchers in DCS at the moment anyway. A little hatchy thing there. Don't know what that's all about. I'm not sure what that guy is there. Um, if that's a laser rangefinder, what's that? Uh, some kind of guidance thing. Oh, that maybe that's the thing that talks to the missile. How interesting. Anyway, you guys are the experts on these, so you let me know. Um, the info that I've missed, and then we'll have a chat about that. Pretty cool vehicle, look forward to using it. Right, in no particular order, the Marder. So this is German, usually German, very good at making ground vehicles. It looks like something out of bloody Optimus Prime Transformers. It's kind of weird robotic turret, it's pretty cool. So it's the Mar basic Marder chassis, 7 metres long, relatively big old thing. Clear, ground clearance, 0 0.44 metres, best we've seen. Big track, so it's probably going to be a heavy Vic. Yeah, combat weight, nearly 30 tonnes. So we're really getting into tank tankish territory now. Crew nine. I don't think it means that. I think it probably means something like three or four plus some people. Um, or it carries nine plus the crew. Obviously, it's never either way. So let me know what you think there. Engine is a V6 diesel, 600 horsepower. That is a BT diesel. Um, max road speed, incredibly impressive for track. 75 clicks per hour, 50 miles per hour. That's really cool. Operational range, 520 clicks. Armament, uh, slightly disappointing, 1 times 20 mil Mark 20 RH202 cannon. So presumably that's an auto, 20 mil auto, auto cannon, which, yeah, is you know, a little bit disappointing because it's such a big, cool vehicle. And a 7.62 uh, coaxial machine gun, some smoke launchers, have a little look. As far as I'm aware, no kind of guidance, or it'll be interesting to know what that kind of guy is there. Uh, what have we got at the front here? Got turnout there for driver. Big, ha big hatch, look at that, that's all a big hatch that can open. Uh, emergency access maybe, something. Armour, we don't know, but 30 tonnes, it's probably going to be 30 more plus, would you say? Let me know what you guys think, that's quick, well-armoured front there, that's going to def really deflect rounds easily, isn't it? Uh, got a turnout here for uh, Commander, I guess that is. Uh, we've got three turnout spots at the back there, and rails to hold on to, we've got a little thing there, not sure what that is. Main access here for uh, the, the carriage. Mm, possible exhaust here, I'm not really sure. So I'm not sure where the engine is, I'm guessing at the back somewhere, but 
It may be at the front, and they may, map may be Axis, I don't know. Um, it almost looks road legal with all, with all these lights on. I uh, can't see anything else of interest. So that's the Marder. I look forward to using that. Pion MCV80. Oh, it's a Warrior. Oh, I didn't know it was a Warrior. Right. I know Warrior from Armour. Well, you get used to these all the time. It's a wicked vehicle. Right, it's in IFE, obviously. It's 23 tonnes. So not as heavy as the Marder. Uh, but it's still fairly beefy. Crew of 10. So I'm guessing that means 2 or 3 a crew plus 7. Uh, no, because we know there's an armor. That carries eight people, at least eight people in the back, possibly nine. So just people it can carry. Pro probably nine in there, I think, from memory, in armor. 75 clicks per hour, really fast, retract vehicle, awesome. Operational range, 500 clicks. Armament, one times, 30 mil cannon. It's really good in armor, so I'm guessing it's going to be really good here. High velocity cannon. Uh, and a 7.62 gun in the turret, I'm guessing. Yep, there it is. Smoke deploys, launchers. What are these two little chimneys here? Some kind of guidance, maybe? Not sure what they are. Two turnout spots. Gunner and commander, I'm assuming. Turnout, big turnout for driver. Access panel here. Maybe engine is here? I'm going to guess engines. Yeah, it is, because I remember when you sit in the back that it couldn't be, couldn't be there. Massive tow loops there. In case it gets stuck. Fencing here to carry your gear, I suppose. Got two turnout spots here. You got uh, your main door there. All your brake brake lights to keep it legal. Got uh, possibly an access hatch there. I'm not sure. Possibly access the hatch there. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Possibly escape hatches. Not on this side. This is, must be the engine side. So that's that. Um, so yep, look forward to using that next. Right, Lav 25. So I see a kangaroo. So I'm. Assuming Australia, but probably wrong. Funny looking thing. Quite cool. And it's wheeled. Interesting. Light armoured vehicle. Uh, just a six and a half metres. So it's still pretty long. Crew three plus six to carry. Combat weight nearly 13 tonnes. So we're back down the small side again. Engine is a V6 275 horsepower. Eight by eight. So I'm guessing that's eight wheel drive. Max road speed 100 clicks per hour. Wow. Nearly 70 miles per hour. It's nearly as fast as my car. Awesome, that's very impressive. Max water speed, say, uh, 10 clicks per hour, so that's very impressive. Operational range, 670 clicks, pretty impressive. Armament, 1 times 25 mil M424 cannon, I've heard of that on another vehicle. Uh, so that's pretty cool, 7.62 machine gun uh, at the top there. Um, so was that an M60? or No, I don't think so. Um, okay, so that's that, you've got your smoke launchers here, two turnouts and a turret. I uh, don't see any missiles or any... T oh, no, that's the 7.6... This must be the 7.62. That is just a machine gun of some sort at the top there. Got to remember to try and use that. Biggest exhaust I've ever bloody seen. Engine is here. To so I'm going to hatch at the front. So I'm going to hatch at the front. I think that's... assuming it's a big towing thing there. Driver turnout. Uh, hatch is hatch there. Maybe an escape hatch. Little view holes here, little periscope things there and there. That's interesting for the um, guys being transported. Hatches at the rear for, trans for the eight guys, six guys in the back. That's all pretty cool. Got to guess very thin armor, kind of like 15 mil again. So lightly armored. Oh, and little um, propeller jobbies here for when you're underwater. That's cool, right? Very good. Michelin tires, big suspension. Ground clearance it doesn't say, but it looks bloody high. Cool, impressive vehicle. And we've got the M2 Bradley. So the Americans come in. Interesting looking thing, isn't it? You can see it's got these um, extra kind of shields here, like 30, 40 mil armor. Just solid steel on the side. That's pretty cool. And covering down there as well. So this one's quite nicely developed. Extra kind of armor there on the turret with the looks of things. So this looks a lot more heavily armored. So let's go through it. Reminds me of the Warrior very much. M2A2, infantry fighting vehicle. Max road speed, 66 clicks. Pretty good for the track vehicle. Tracks mm, moderately thin, maybe? Oh, okay. Weight, 21 tonnes. So I guess we'd call that in the middle. We've seen all the way up to 30 tonnes so far in the middle. So armour, I'm guessing 20 to 25 mil, question mark. Operational range, 490 clicks. Crew of nine. So again, not really if sure if it carries nine. I would expect that probably is what it is. Plus some crew to drive it. Armament is a 25mm 
M242 that we saw in, I think that was a previous vehicle, and possibly another one, so good 25 mm there. Got a two tube tow 80 GM launcher, and there's a really big, very big, powerful missile as this fires. And this kind of thing, it wrecked itself like that, fires, come down, reload, presumably manually, I'm not entirely sure. Um, got a 7.62 M40C commercial machine gun there, right there. It's a funny looking thing, got your smoke deployers there, two turnout points in the turret. This here, something to do with guiding missile guidance, uh, or no, I don't think so. I think they're wire guided, so I really don't know. Not sure, not sure. Um, got your lights, big hatch here, engine appears to, assuming engine is here. Driver and driver turnout. Pretty good view with his periscopes. Towing anchors. Um, kind of a more separate armor. It's got this kind of separate armor panels all around it. So presumably this is a good way of stopping rounds uh, to have this kind of separate armor or RPGs or you know whatever it is that they're worried about. Got the back here. Weird thing on the top. It's a big turnout. I think there's turnout there. Uh, got it. Got your door for getting in. Um, lights at the back. These rods here. I'm not sure what those rods are. If anyone knows, what they are. Oh, you've got some little periscopes there for the guys inside. Little field of view there. Interesting. Right, so that's it. Sorry that took so long, but you know, as ever, there's a lot of information to cover, and if you're like me, then you're interested in this. Let's go and drive them. Okay, we're in. Let's be red. Let's be a tactical commander. Okay. Okay. I'll show you what we've got today. We've got our boys there, and all the stuff you could ever want to shoot. We've got um, tanks, we've got IFVs, we've got uh, Humvees, APCs, and we might even put some helicopters later in if uh, I can work out how to. So we're going to treat this like we do with all the combined arms videos. Just assume it's the first combined arms video you've watched, because you're certainly not going to watch them all. So I'm going to go adjust controls, and for whichever combined arms vehicle you're, you're using, driving, sailing, whatever, you get all the same controls for all of them. So you just go into here, uh, sorry, you go into uh, combined arms, and these are the same controls you'll get for all of them, okay? And there's only about 70 in there, there's not a lot. I'm not gonna go through every one because they are so simple to just look at, you know, night vision, um, the launch green flare, you know, you don't need me to go through all of them, uh, IFF test and whatnot. So there I'll talk about the buttons that I'm using to just drive around and fire and do basic stuff like that. So that's all I'm gonna say on that. Next we'll talk about the views. So this is the F10 view. If we want to occupy one of these vehicles, let's choose the BMD. We'll click on him and we'll click on drive here. Just pause that because that's a bit loud. So we get this F1 view. You press F1 and you get this view and this is what the turret sees. And I'm going to use my mouse and pause to move around. Look up, look down. I'm just going to, the noise is just a little bit high. I'm just going to turn that down. I'll make the gun quiet but never mind. And uh, yeah, I move around like that. Some guns you can press right click and zoom in and some you can't. If we were now to press insert, it goes to the outside view, but we can still control the vehicle. Press insert again and we go inside. Next, if we press um, F7, we get an outside view of our vehicle. We can zoom in with the mouse scroll and move around with the mouse like that. That's all we really need to show for the view. So F1 back inside. Next, we're going to have a little look at the screen. I'm just going to pause to do that. So up here, we've got the azimuth of our turrets, where our turret's facing. Down here, we've got the AI commands of the rest of our group. These are all of these vehicles I've got here on the red side are single unit groups. So this is going to be irrelevant in this case. Here, we've got the current weapon that's selected. We've got, uh, that is the amount of ammo. That is the particular uh, weapon. Uh, 73 mil RPG, so it's calling the main gun the RPG in this case. We press the echo key and we can change between whatever weapons we've got in this particular turret. So echo is one of three, uh, so we've got one loaded and three total, nine M14s, so that's the kind of missile. And back to here we've got 40 73 mil RPGs. Uh, if we've got two turrets we can press Q to go to the second turret, which we don't in this case. Gear, we can have reverse, neutral or drive. Speed of the hull in miles per hour, azimuth of the hull, azimuth of the turret compared to the hull compared to north, and the hit points are the health points of our vehicle. 
with each gun turret and weapon type, you're going to have a different type of um, whatever this is called, kind of crosshair here, which you can learn to use, but I'm not sure how to use them. I guess it would be like 400 meters, 600 meters, 800 meters, or whatever. So next we look at driving the vehicle. So I'm going to unpause. I'm uh, just going to go insert outside to be able to see better. Turn my cursor off. So I'm going to put it in reverse with Zulu key. I'm going to press Whiskey to go accelerate. Sierra to brake. And now X-ray and X-ray again to drive. D to turn right, Delta. Alpha to turn left. Whiskey to go forwards. And Sierra to brake. That's all we really need to know about movement. So next we're going to shoot some stuff. So you can shoot from here if you like, or you can go and ins insert in here. We're going to start off with the 73mm smoothbore. So we can either just aim our cross at it and fire at it, what we'll try now. Ooh, missed. It's actually a pretty powerful gun. So we can aim like that, or we could press the return key on the target. You see at the bottom left it's acquiring a lock. Once it's got a lock, it tells you how to aim. So in this case I would want to put my crosshair on that circle there, and then with that any aiming information press left click. Got him! And you can see this low velocity smoothbore can actually damage a, um, uh, an Abrams main battle tank from the side. Uh, you'd only need, what, two or three of those to actually kill it. So that's seriously impressive. Right, and you can see the ammo is running down there, 38. So once we've run out of that ammo, there's no way to reload unless uh, we've got a, um, arm an ammo truck around. Uh, out of interest, you could then reload with that command there. I'm going to change to the other weapon. I'm going to unlock with backspace. I'm going to change to our second weapon with echo. You can see we've got one times uh, nine, uh, basically the rocket uh, thing that's on top. You can see that little rocket there. Go back in. I'm going to fire away from the tank first, just so you can see how it works. So I'm going to aim up here. What I'll do is I'll press the left button and it'll fire, and then wherever I move my uh, screen is where it'll go, because it's, it's guided radio or wire, I can't remember, but watch this. There it goes. Here. Here, 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 here. The more I move the uh, turret about, the more error the missile will have. Boom! Pretty satisfying, right? So if you can now look at the bottom, it says reloading required because we've got more rounds in the magazine. We're going to press left control and Romeo. It's going to reload and I'm going to skip time to hurry up. Boom. And we've now got two rounds in the magazine, one loaded. And we're gonna have a pop of this guy and we could lock him again if we wanted. We don't need to, but if he was moving, that might help. You've got to add lead or something like that. You see on the left, it's taking a long time to lock. It's also telling us the meters in distance and whether or not it's in range. Which we'll do in a second. So you can say it's in range, it's 210 meters. It'll only take a few seconds to get there or half a second or something, so fire. Keep my cursor still. Oh, I miss it, went over the top. Well, we're in a strange case that we're actually within two, really too close range to fire at this guy. So I'm going to um, fire at someone a bit more and get some more adjustment if we've got such a thing. There we are, it's more like it. In oh, this case, I'm just going to dumb fire it and guide it by eye. Got to reload, sorry. I'm going to unlock that. Where's that? So I'm going to fire. Guide it down. Boom! Mud thumper. 50% damage, so that's basically knocked that tank out with one of these. That's how ridiculously overpowered they are. Right, that was good fun, right? Uh, make sure there's no second turret, and there's not. So again, we can't reload until we get an ammo truck over here. So we're going to jump into the BMP-2. Oh, sorry, the BMP-1. Um, it's pretty much the same, except it's got a machine gun. Let me just check the BMD didn't have a machine gun. Oh, they did. Let me just head back into the BMD again, just see if we could use that machine gun. I don't know why it wouldn't let us use it. E, Q. Now, for some reason, we can't use that machine gun. I uh, may be doing something wrong, but let's try the next vehicle then. Whoops. Wrong way, cap. So, we've got the 40mm 73 again. Sorry, 4073s. We've got the, uh, the, the, the missile again. And again, I can't seem to use the machine gun for reasons I don't understand. Q's not working, E's not working. If you know another way of um, using that machine gun, please let me know. So let's go for the 73. Now, it's a low-velocity gun, so I'm going to have to put some lead on this guy. So 
Let's see, I can't lock him up for some reason. Let's try someone a bit else. Locking, so it says I have to lead up here. I'm not sure if I hit there. It's not giving me a damage report. Try again. Haha, <laughs> it definitely is working. Right, pretty cool, right? And we'll use the ATGM again. We'll get this guy. Boom! Pretty cool, right? And as you can see, I can take out a main battle tank as well. Be interesting to see if it could take a main battle tank out from the front. Look at the armor penetration of it. Um, problem is, I've got kind of a minimum range on this thing. At which point it becomes very hard to aim. I'll try one of these guys. I'm trying to try him there, so let me reload. And try not to spoon it over him. Ready? Oh, I went over his head. God damn it. I don't want to run it into the ground. Boom! Uh, sometimes it gets a bit buggy and it doesn't tell me what percentage damage it's done. It's not told me, so... It's probably done some damage to the front, but I don't know how much. Right, um, can't use the second turret, can't use the machine gun as far as I'm aware, so that's that vehicle. Let's go to the BMP2, uh, so we've got the cannon this time, so in we go. Interesting sight in this. So we've got 340 rounds of 30 mil high explosive. We've got um, then a second turret, which we press Quebec for. Quebec gives us our second turret like that. So Quebec back to our main turret. And we use our uh, 3, 4, our 30 mil. Wow, that's a rapid firing 30 mil cannon. What a beast. Look at this. Let's see if we can damage an Abrams from the side. Get some. Get some. Can't damage it. We'd need armor piercing, I think. And since this isn't really an anti-tank vehicle, simply not suited for it. So you can't damage a, a main battle tank. Can you damage an M2? Almost certainly. Get some. No, high explosive can't damage an, an M2. Well, blow me down. Either way, that's it was clearly a very good gun. You know, anything other, anything more likely. Oh, we've got Humvees and stuff. Uh, Humvees, Humvees. Hello, sir. Yeah, one bullet kills a Humvee. Look, <laughs> that shows how powerful it really is. Yeah, as long as it's not armoured. Right, that's that. I'm going to press the Quebec key to bring out the. Um, uh, the launcher, remember, this is a separate launcher. It's like a little launch tube. And it can turn... Uh, if I can press the right button here. It can turn separately from the main gun. So, let's see what we can damage. We can damage a main battle tank from the side. We almost certainly can. It's just finding one far away enough. Let's try that. It probably won't loft up this time because it's a tube launcher. Much easier to low range. Boom. Hmm not sure how much damage we've done. Let's try um, reloading that. Okay. So we've done 34. We've done a third damage, basically. So it can take out main battle tanks. I think the first shot, because I hit the turret, didn't have any penetration. But the second shot, because I hit the, um, the body, did a uh, third penetration. So that's really hurt that tank. Okay. Um, that's that. Nothing else to show there. Next, we're going to try Big Bertha. We've got the BMV-3. These are dangerous. So we've got a 30mm HE, a 100mm HE, a 8x9 Mike 117, and no separate turret. So this is equipped big time. So we've got a 30mm cannon. Pretty fast firing again. And it's going to be lethal with anything without armour. And we've got the 100mm whatever it's called, gun, I suppose. Oh, God, it's more like a grenade launcher. Look at the lead you had to have to give it. Let's see much lead we need to give it for this guy. It's, a, it's only 300 metres, look, and we've got to aim up there. Still, 
anything except armor that is still completely lethal you know close range more like a mortar isn't it <laughs> look how powerful it is big and awesome uh, right, that's that. Uh, we've got the uh, uh, this missile, and this gets fired through the tube. Remember, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, sorry, through the barrel. Oh, um, uh, laser ranger at the top. I forgot to tell you about laser rangers. Press the Lima key for laser ranging. Look at the top. It tells you 376 meters, uh, and that does it. Probably in all the vehicles I've used so far. Um, I forgot to check, so it's just something to bear in mind. Right, so we're going to use the, uh, the missile through the door, through the thing. Mm. We zoom in with the route mount, right mouse button, press and hold, works for some. We just completely nailed a um, Bradley. Let's see if we can nail a um, one of these and hit it right in the hull from the side. So 43% damage, so it's not that tank outlet. Not freaking bad. I think I might have hit, hit that one already. So, BMP3, serious bit of kit. Real bit of kit, that is. Do not mess with it. That's going to take your main battle tank on. Okay, let's carry on. Next, we've got the Lab 25. What was the Australian one, was it, I think, from memory? Just need to remind myself of his armament. We've got coaxial plus machine gun at the top plus a uh, big cannon, so... Back in we go, so we can choose here the 25mm HE cannon or the 7.62 coaxial. And we press Quebec, we go to the uh, the turret on the top. Get some. Get some. Get some. Now look, it just bounce off. That's so cool. Uh, Quebec back into this turret. I'm going to laser range this guy here. 210 meters, gonna choose the 25 mil on the front of an Abrams, or the front of a Bradley. No effect. On the side. No effect on the turret. No effect, again, it's just high, it's high explosive, it's not anti-tank. This guy will suffer. Dead. And 7.62 coaxial. Get some. Cool. Okay, let's go to our next vehicle. We've got the uh, Bradley, big old boy. Let's go in. So we've got the 25 mil cannon. We've got the 7.62, and we've got the tow. So 25 mil. It's not going to do any damage to these guys, I should imagine. Really nice cannon. Very nice. Uh, we've got the 7.62. Get some. Very nice. And the toe. See what happens if we use a tow on the front of an Abrams. It killed the Abrams! The tow killed the Abrams from the front. That is um global. I told you they were big missiles. Whopping great missiles compared with the BMPs. So, how impressive. And because it's twin, I don't need to reload again. Until now. And then I'd reload. Then the little man has to get out, I think, and reload it manually. Uh, let's see if we can shoot something. No, we better carry on doing our work, quote unquote. Laser Ranger, uh, again. 740 click, uh, 700, 1740 clicks. Next, we've got the uh, Warrior British, I think this is, which is cool. I'm gonna go in here. Right, so a single turret, and we can choose a 30 mil high explosive or uh, 7.62. Now, interestingly, the 30 mil, 30 mil, we've only got three rounds and then we have to reload. And then that's out of ammo, so we've reloaded again. You can see at the bottom, it reloads automatically with this. 
It's almost like it's got little three round magazines or something. So we can't damage that. Can we damage a Bradley? If we've got any Bradleys left. Nope. Can damage this guy though. Boom, dead. And a machine gun. Get a quite slow firing machine gun. That's uh, pretty cool. That's him done. Next, we've got the Marder, the Deutsches thing. So let's go into that. We've got um, single turret, laser ranger, optical zoom. We've got the uh, 20 mil cannon and the 7.62. Sounds cool. Oh, you can't laser range within 200 meters, by the way. Whatever reason. Get some. Get some. Get some. Get some. Bring out the big boy. God, the rate of fire. Now I see what the Marder can do. That is... It's got machine gun rate of fire for 20 mil. Look at the... Look at that. Oh, I do like the Marder now. Obviously, it can't penetrate armor, but... Amazing. Give me something to blast. Any jeeps left? I'm afraid we don't have any jeeps left. Nothing else I can see that we can blow up, I'm afraid. Ah, <laughs> that's a shame. Look at that. Absolutely lethal. Awesome. Right, gotta stop doing this. Alright, uh, so that's that. Next. Oh, that's it. That's the Marder. Right. So, I think you'll agree that was, although fairly pointless, pretty fucking awesome. Uh, so now I guess a few minutes to have some fun. Uh, let's go launch some toes at stuff. What don't we like the look of? Let's see what, how much range we can get on this beauty. So I'm going to loft it and then drop it down on this um, thing. Actually, let's go for these guys. Oh, damn, I cocked up. Again. Be careful, really careful about running it into the ground. It's going to hit that fuel dump. It's going to hit that fuel dump. Ooh, look at the destruction. That needs a reload. More ammo dump. Doesn't have a flare at the back, I notice, like the others. Ha 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 ha! Look at the destruction on it. Unbelievable. If anyone knows what warhead that toe's got in it? It's absolutely ridiculous look at all the dead stuff ridiculous I want to play some Marder now Marder I want you get some just that gun man just the gun get some get some get some Probably work out the uh, laser ranging lines. Look, if we uh, range this guy here. Eight. Wow, it's two kilometers. No wonder. Eighteen hundred and eighty. So then we can use the line. So two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, one thousand, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred, sixteen hundred, eighteen hundred, and a bit. Look at them drop. Ha ha! On target. On guard. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I got them! <laughs> Two kilometer shot super cap. And they're all dead. Oh, this is a good day. And I want that BMP3 again because it's just the bomb. Uh, so we've got another toe to fire at something.
Take a song. Boom. Devastating. That's out of action. And it reloads automatically. Riddick. Test the range. Ooh. Wow, armoured helicopter. Ooh, sir, you parked your Peugeot in the wrong place. Invalid parking permits. Ooh. Oh, come on, something blow up, for fuck's sake. Did someone say ammo dump? These Russian ones are flared. Oh, why does nothing blow up? Is this not powerful enough for you? Seriously, get out of the goddamn way. Look at them go. Oh, I'm hitting the chimney! Haha! <laughs> that is a two point that's a two point seven kilometer shot. Look at that. That's amazing. Awesome. Right, anyway, I've done enough silliness. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, go out and get combined arms and kill some people. It'll be good fun. And I'll see you later.